all queens think they're fierce. That's a mistake, all queens and me. Pretty girl got her own wit. Pretty girl got her own grip. Pretty girl got her own shit. Keep her nails done, hair done, bag on thick. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you read in the title, today we'll be talking about skin. Hence why sis is on air beer face. Wow. <laughs> Y'all don't see that often. Before I get into this video, guys, make sure you subscribe and follow me on all socials at Touch the Fears. Follow my business page at Fears Collection. So, first, first, first thing before I get into this, just a friendly reminder drink your water, listen to sweets, and wash your sheets. Change your pillowcase. Like, come on, girl. You may attack in the video right now. Change your pillowcase. So anyways, let me just give a little rundown about my skin because and everything will work for one person and work for everybody else, obviously. So for my skin, um, I have dry skin. I have dry skin and acne was never like a problem throughout my life. Um, my first got bump when I was 20 and I'm 20 almost 23 and that happened because or I think that happened because um it happened shortly after I used a makeup artist like I was doing a video shoot and I was like the second to the last person to get my makeup done and her makeup brushes were dirty and because the girl a pro and I need am known and thing and thing Normally, me that carry my own makeup products and my own stuff, just in case I don't like all the makeup artists doing others' face, I do my face. This time, I never carry it, so I never have no choice. So I sit down and the girl beat my face with the dirty things to them. And shortly after that, the girl's skin crying is bad. I'm never gonna put the pick here. So honestly, like, my skin did really crying. I literally cry, like, cry I want a real, 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 real tears. So, cry, 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 cry. Because at first, it's something to me like throughout high school, I've never even have a spot bump with none of that. None. Like, people always ask me, like, where are you spending your face? Girls' face always cool. You know, wash your face after school and thing and thing. Face cool right through. Right through. So, when that happened to me, Loki was depressing. Because as much as I come on ear in makeup, on a daily basis, I hate wearing makeup. I don't. I can't bother. I really can't bother. I don't even like wearing a weave. I just cannot bother. I don't like when my ear is done because they have so much precautions. I just can't bother with them something there. I like to feel comfortable. Like me, love comfort. So, I want to say I'm a person that travel with acne, but since then and that happened, my skin break out every now and then. Especially like close to period, I'd have get this um, bump here and I'll get like bump here. But that's about it. Um, so when that happened, um, I normally use my Nadinola. Like I've been using Nadinola cream for like my whole life. Because it's, you know, it gives a face this matte feeling. So the main reason why I always use it. What I'll be showing you in my routine, you can try it. You can try like different different products. You don't have to try them all together. And I will also the noise. I'll also tell you what and what I use them for. So in case you have that problem specific, you can try it. I look at you rather my face without makeup. I'm still gonna wear it. Okay. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> Out. No makeup, no filter. Yes, why don't? Uh, what else I wanted to say? Okay, let me just give you all some tips. Tip number one: drink water. You know, cleanse your body. Drink your water or drink your bitters. Yes, aloe vera. Eat it raw. I make juice with it. You need, you need some bitters, like too much sweet. Obviously, your skin have a breakout. So, lessen your sugar intake. Wash your sheets. Change your pillowcase. 
um, another tip is please remove your makeup well what I use to remove my makeup is castor oil even though castor oil is an healing healing thing so it may cause like you probably use it and realize your bump come up but bear in mind that bump was probably already there so the castor oil just make it pop up so you can pop it or you put something on it and it go away me like to use toothpaste on my bumps honestly i don't pop bumps unless it's blocked it, because black it after squeeze out or else it will cause a hole in your face another tip don't touch your face with your hands like your hands are always dirty that's why it is recommended in these covid times to wash your hands so often like your hands are always dirty as you touch something you're dirty so don't touch your face don't touch it and i recommend using a paper towel rather than using a towel to dry your skin or your rag use a paper towel um deep cleanse your face every now and then most likely every time after makeup let me know if you want me to do like a routine of how i remove my makeup let me know um which other tip i didn't even write anything down um please try to be consistent with anything that you're using before you say it does not work because me as a person you not consistent at all but i do try to do it every time i remember but you try to stay consistent with your routine and you know probably you're going to want you know if you use it too often like if you see it at work you can kind of slow down do it probably once or twice a week because your skin do get used to stuff and then it stops work and you never want every minute to try find out a different routine for this and the next routine for that no um i think that's about it but the main part is what you eat and your bed spread because you sleep on it and your face sleep on it so your sheet needs to be clean the main thing about it and mind your own business don't stress out yourself really because if you stress it will reflect it will reflect on your appearance overall so try stay stress free run with the idiot boy anything get into your own bag anything will limit your stress okay so enough rambling and enough talking let's get into the whole routine so guys for my first step in my skincare routine is put on your robe from fierce collection mine says t fierce in the back the fierce is like this. So copy your robes at Fierce Collection. And if you want to feel like a fancy while you do your routine, feel like your things, put on your robe. So as you can see, um, I don't have on any makeup. I'm going to pin my ear back. Okay, and then the first thing I do, I use this soap. It is Nadinola soap. It says it's for oily skin, but I have very dry skin. But I do make up for that by using two moisturizer. But this is it. I've been using it from high school. And I literally bought a new one just for this video. So let's like start with washing off my... with some water first and then get in with the soap. Save water. paper towel I think it is more sanitary more sanitary than using a towel because it's disposable just use a paper towel 
clean your face off. Next, this is why like when my skin is breaking out, I do this step. As you can see, I have a few spots and like a bump on my forehead. I use aloe vera, the raw, raw, raw aloe vera. It's pink. So you just cut it, cut off the sharp edge. I think it's better than buying the aloe vera gel that they sell in bottle because this is obviously the raw raw thing, not processed, no preservative, no nothing. So I then cut it into two, bust it wide open, and literally just rub it, rub the gel on my skin. Look at that glowy look. Whenever it gets dry, it's not dry right now as you can see, it's still a little goo. But up here it says a bit dry, so you just take the knife and you rub it a bit and it gets see that? Yeah, that will like why it's slippery. all over it's in my eyebrows because it is good for the ear goes thicker ear and healthier ear so I'll be back in 15 minutes so now that the mask is dry completely dry I'm going to rinse it off with some water I do chose to do this video now because it is very highly requested. This is highly requested, but I chose to do it now because I actually do have about two bumps here and about three in my forehead. So when I do have bumps, I also take this Neutrogena Men face wash. Use a little oops because it's for men. I guess it's stronger. But for some reason, I always rather to use men's product. And I always put it mostly like on my jaw and on my forehead. My nose does not break out like no time at all. So I don't like to put product on it. If I don't know if that makes sense, but that is just what I do. Don't mind my gets of edges. Please don't come for them. And then you take a paper towel and dry your face. I don't know if I'm talking too low. I like to pat instead of rub. I guess it helps with aging. I'm no dermatologist. I'm just saying what I read. So for my next step, I use the Mario Bades key. If I'm pronouncing it. I use the Marabedes key if I'm pronouncing it right. It is the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. So it's the green bottle one. Mine is almost done. It's just a bit in the bottom. That shows that I literally use this every day in the morning and in the night. And it is also good to set your makeup. So after that, my face is dry. I spray it with the aloe spray. 
and kind of pat it in to help my skin to dry, my face to dry faster for the next step. Okay, so for the next step, I use the Nadinola cream more like daily, like one time a day or whenever I remember. And I use this whenever my skin is breaking out, like when I have spot. This is the Insta Glow Spot Corrector. You can shop it. Um, I'm going to leave their Instagram link below. This is the oily gray, like it removes the spot even from your bikini line, like any spot anywhere on your body. This is the go to. So, I like to put it mostly on here because this is most likely my problem area. And a little goes a long way. So if you buy this one container, it lasts for months. I've had this since March. Massage it into my skin. So this now, it says bleaching cream, but I've been using this for years since high school and I've never like really seen it lighten my skin because I only use it on my face and they pretty much match, right? Overall, your face will always be lighter than you, in which this also lighten your face. This I do see lightening my lighting. So it can be used as a toner. I guess because it lies in the skin but this it says for it says it's non oily so I like to use it last because even though I have dry skin I like having dry skin I like to be I like to feel matte so if whenever I'm going on the road this is what I use for a cool dry look And it's been working with my skin since but really then when I have terrible breakout it does not help. So now my skin is feeling more matte because the time is so hot. <laughs> Whoa that rhyme. <laughs> the time is so hot, so I want my skin to be matte. Period. Guys, please do not pay my edges anything. So, put on your lip gloss, coconut oil lip gloss. Let your ear out. And then you're ready for the road. Clean skin and glossy lips. That's all for this summer period. No makeup. So that's for my affordable, easy, no bugger bugger skincare routine. Hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know if you've ever tried any of these products. If they worked with your skin or they did not work, let me know in the comment section. So I got rid of some of the distraction from my treacherous edges. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.